Hey everybody, we are here today in my basement next to my lovely rock wall. Um, I am actually going to be showing you how to build my brand new specialized chisel. It is a 2023. They've changed the geometry since I've last ridden one, so I'm excited to see the changes. I owned one back in 2019. And I really love the bike, but I actually sold it to buy my Specialized Epic that you see in most of my videos. But it's getting a little bit colder. I wanted to put my Epic away and get something new for the winter time, for the spring. And honestly, I really just missed my chisel. So I'm really excited to be building it in front of you guys today. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I know I'm putting my front tire on backwards, but it came out of the box like this and I'm going to be installing tubeless on it after this video anyway. So just ignore that it's on backwards. All right, so I am out here on my first ride on the Specialized Chisel. Wanted to point out a few things that I really like on the build, a few things that I'm definitely looking forward to and hoping that things will change my perspective on them. I'll go ahead and point out, one thing I really like is this built-in, you don't have to install it, it comes straight from the factory, this chain guard protector, so you're not gonna damage or chip your paint on your frame. I do really also like here the upgraded cranks from previous years. They don't just put a generic crank on there. And then it does come with the full 12 speed NX with hydraulic SRAM brakes. Now that is one thing that I'm not super stoked about. Typically I really enjoy Shimano brakes. I've had some not great luck with the SRAM levels in the past, but again, I'm really hoping that they change my mind. Another part is the RockShox Judy Gold Fork. Um, it does seem like it is a little bit of a downgrade from the bike that I used to have. But again, just one of those things I'm really hoping changes my mind. It is 100 millimeters of travel. Now, you can't really see any markings on there. It does come with this uh, travel identifier but it is kind of hard to tell what amount of travel, what amount of sag that you are getting because it doesn't have the percentages or travel markings on there anywhere. Now, when I first got back into mountain biking, I did try out the Specialized Fast Track tires. I really like the Renegade tires a little bit more, but it does look like they are redesigned. So I'm hoping that those change my mind as well. Typically, I just switch to Maxxis tires 